I'm Sam. Um, okay, when most of you first met me, you would have said I was a Christian, no doubt. I responded to the sermon, I had good notes, I good jargon, I could talk intelligently about the Bible, and could spot off verses, concepts, and doctrine when asked. But my faith was a dead faith. I was a whitewashed tomb. I grew up in a Christian home. I went to church every day of my life, well, every Sunday of my life. I went to summer camps every summer. I went on mission trips. I went to a private Christian school and a private Christian college. I could masquerade faith very well, but there was nothing there. There was no life. I was outwardly, outwardly a good girl, outwardly obedient, but inwardly rebellious. Because of my circumstances, I considered myself the princess, above the law and not subject to the law. But... God. He kept drawing me when I thought it was my idea. He brought me to the East Coast to a school that was highly legalistic, but that had a reverence for God that I'd never seen before in my liberalistic church. I learned and I agreed, but coming from one ditch straight into another opened my eyes to the problems of both, and I wasn't satisfied with either. God kept me on the East Coast, and then he drew me to Orlando. He, through his sovereignty, um, gave me the Bruce's number. I came down a little over a year ago keeping in touch with them, and they kept telling me about this church and how I needed to come. Um, I got to visit twice last year and loved it. The first Sunday I had off in February of this year, uh, I came to Cornerstone and got to experience the full Cornerstone experience. <laughs> So the Wednesday before that, I had been able to go to ladies group and saw the accountability and loved that. Uh, here, I thought, was a great compromise between the reverent legalism and the tolerant liberty, liberty. But the thing that hit me right between the eyes was the definition of a few key words of the gospel. The first was the concept of fruit. I basically heard from this church, you're a Christian? Great! Let's see your fruit. Uh, I didn't have any fruit. I had knowledge, but no wisdom. Then there was the word repent. The only time I had ever heard the word before was when somebody was reading the Bible out loud. Next came the concept of sin. I never really thought everything about the condemnation of sin applied to me. Then the word holy. I thought I knew this one, but when sin was explained, holy took on a whole new meaning. At one of the fellowships, someone said that the conflict of this world is not between right and wrong, between good and evil, but between holiness versus sin. That blew my socks off and changed everything. Just a little bit more. God opened my eyes to see the beauty of his law, the beauty of redemption, and even the beauty of Christ's work on the cross. And all I could do was worship on my face in submission to his holy law. A year ago, no wait, growing up I never heard about the wrath of God. Here, I am learning that only about, not only about the extreme wrath of God, but also by how knowing that and understanding the severity of his wrath, the love of God is more extreme. Everything before was gray. Now, it is black and white. A year ago, I thought I was saved when I was six. Eight months ago, I thought I was saved when I was 12. Now, I know I was saved at the end of the summer. Everything I do... Is, um, everything I do now is not external trying to change the internal, but now, by the grace of God, the internal will be expressed in the external. Solo Dea Gloria. <laughs>